Hey guys, these are 10 minute follow along snowboard workouts. The focus of today's workout is all about sliding on different parts of the board. The nose of your board, tail of your board, the center of your board. You can do this whole workout either on our training gear or on your full size regular snowboard. Follow along with me, see if you can keep up. First thing, let's jump up onto the bar. Now, I'm gonna do a 90 degree turn so that I'm in a board side position. And we're gonna start moving around. So what I'm gonna do from here is I'm actually gonna shift my board to the left until I am sliding over my back foot. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to center. I want you guys to do this with me as I do this onto my front foot. Board moved out that way. Back to center and move to the back foot. Now if you ever look at my upper body, the weight of my upper body is right on top of the bar at all times. This is how you're gonna stay in balance. As long as your mass of your body is on top of the rail and top of the box, you'll be able to stay in balance. And it doesn't matter whether you're sliding on the back foot, the center of your board, or the nose of your board. Back to center, all the way to tail. If you fall off, no big deal, just get right back up. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna step it up. And we're gonna go all the way from a nose to a tail. So I'm gonna go onto my front foot, nose of my board, I'm gonna go all the way, shifting the sport under me until I'm on the back foot. Notice, weight up on top of the rail. To my front foot, to my back foot. Now, if you're falling off, it just means your weight is not staying up on top. So I'm gonna challenge you, I'm gonna make it harder. We're gonna go all the way to the front foot and we're gonna add a little hop. All the way to back foot, add a little hop. Front foot, hop, and back to center. Now I'm gonna step it up. We're gonna move this into a slight bit more of a snowboard variation. I'm on the bar 50-50. You guys are following along with me. I'm gonna add a 90 degree twist and I'm gonna let this land. I'm gonna slide the center of my board, watch this. Center of board, back to 50-50. Now I'm doing this with my weight central on the board. Now if you take your weight right now, move it forward over your front foot, do this exact same thing. You're now gonna pivot around that front foot, watch this. See that, I pivoted around that front foot, front foot and back to 50-50. Weight over the front foot, pivot around that front foot, back to 50-50. Change that weight, bring it back to your back foot. You're now making a pivot point around that back foot and we're gonna slide on the back foot. See this? Oop, and I fell off. If you fall off, get right back up. Weight in the back foot, slide around that back foot, bring it back to 50-50. Slide around that back foot, bring it back to 50-50. Okay, next step. We're gonna take those movements, but we're gonna add a lateral movement. This should be a workout for you guys. If you're getting hot and sweaty, that's good. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in from this position, and we're gonna land in the center of our board. So we're adding that movement to the twist, landing in the center of the board, back off. Center of the board, back off. Now we're gonna go rotate that around the front foot, land into the nose, teaching you to slide in different parts of your board. So I've got a little bit of weight forward over that front foot so that I can twist, land on that front foot, twist back out. Let's do it again. Landing on that front foot, twisting back out to land. Let's take it to the back foot. Move your weight back a little bit. As you twist, you're now gonna be pivoting around that back foot, which is gonna put you onto the tail. Back foot of your snowboard, tail of your snowboard, back out forwards. Tail, slide. One more. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way off the other side on purpose, because we can do those exact same three techniques from the back side. So here we go. Back side, we've got a back side 20 degree movement added with the twist landing on three different parts of your board. Starting with the center of your board. Here we go. I'm gonna twist, land on the center of my board, come back out forwards. Twist, land on the center of your board, mass of your body is on top of that feature, ride back out forwards. I'm gonna go to nose now. I'm gonna put a little bit of weight forward over my front foot to create a bit of a pivot point around there so I can land sliding on my front foot mass of your body still on top of the feature. Doesn't matter what part of the board you're sliding on, nose, tail, center, as long as your weight is central on top, you will be able to remain in balance on the feature. 
One more on the nose. And twisting out forwards. Now we're gonna go all the way to the tail. A little bit more movement for this. Putting weight in the tail to make that pivot point. I'm gonna twist, but I have to get all the way over to the tail. So there's a little bit more movement. There we go, tail, back out forwards. Again, twisting, tail, back out forwards. One more, tail, back out forwards. Okay, so I just showed you how to slide on three different parts of your board, twisting forwards. Let's step it up. Let's do it twisting backwards. Jump back up, jump into 50-50. Once you're in 50-50, you're gonna do a 90 degree twist facing backwards. So I'm actually sliding towards you guys. Adding a bit of twist allows me to look where I'm going. I'm looking down the barrel of my arm here to remain in balance. The direction that I'm snowboarding is towards you guys. I'm gonna go from this position, front foot, center. You guys are follow along with me. Back foot, center. Peeking, peeking this way as I do it, because that's the way you're sliding. Front foot, and if you fall off like I just did, no big deal, hop back up. Twisting is in 90 degrees. Front foot, going back to center, and moving to the back foot. There we go, keeping that weight on top of the feature. From here, I'm gonna make it harder. We're going all the way from nose to tail, nose to tail. There we go. That's up. I'm on my front foot now, I'm on my nose, on my tail, on my tail. Twisted, looking where I'm going, on my nose, on my nose, on my tail, on my nose, back to 50-50. If you're getting your sweat on, that is good. I am getting my sweat on. Remember, this is a 10 minute workout. You guys keep up with me. We've got a whole series of these. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add those three twists. So from here, I'm in 50-50. Balance, take a breath. Start by sliding in the center of your board. Twisting to the center of your board. Remember, I'm still using counter rotation. If you don't know what that means, check out one of our earlier workouts. Here we go, front board, center of my, center of my board. Almost fell off, almost fell off. Knees bent, back up. Here we go, center of the board. Now I'm gonna do it over the front foot. I'm taking my weight a little bit forwards on purpose. So I create a pivot point around that front foot. Puts me on that front board over the front foot. Balanced. Bringing it back 50-50. Weight forward a little bit. Pivoting around that foot. Two fall off. Get right back up there. And the last one, back foot. Taking my weight to the back foot. Still using that same counter rotation twist. Pivoting around that back foot, sliding. Holding in control, back to 50-50. Pivoting, back to 50-50. Okay, we're now gonna take those three different positions, but we're gonna jump in with the lateral movement. First one I'm gonna do, center of the board, back out forwards. Twisting, center of the board, back out forwards. I'm gonna go to the front foot. Putting out a little bit of weight on the front foot to make that pivot helps with this, see this? All my weight's over the front foot now, back out forward. Now as I do that, most important thing is that your weight is on top. If you get up and your weight's on top, you'll be able to remain in balance. Add a little hop there just to make it harder. Hardest one of the three, I'm going all the way to my back foot. This one requires more movement. So that, I'm twisting around that back foot and having to move all the way into it. I came out this side, that's good, because we got three more from this side. Last three. Last three, I'm gonna start with, it's kind of, it's called a back lip. But I'm going to the center of the board, between both feet. Twisting, landing in the center of the board between both feet. Now we're gonna go all the way onto the nose, twisting around that front foot, staying in balance. We'll do two of these. Front, back lip. Weight over the rail, balancing over that front foot. Last one, back tail, going onto the tail. A little bit less movement required for this one. Here we go, pivoting around that tail, remaining in balance, coming back out forwards. Good work, guys. That was our 10 minute workout. If you wanna make it even more challenging, you can add the WTP rail extension. That'll really get your balance going. 
Hope you guys got a sweater. We'll see you in the next one. Nev Lapper from Snowboard Addiction. Our goal is to improve your writing.